hello guys welcome to the c programming tutorial in previous lecture we introduced the 2d array in this lecture we will study how to represent or display the 2d array and how to initialize and also declare a 2d array first of all i'm um, including header file punio.h void main so in first line i will declare a variable array of 2d 2d type array array name is a and in first we will store of row of three size and column of also of three size and i'm here storing some value suppose 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 means total 9 element we have stored in our array now i will declare some value i and j clear the screen now print f element in array now we will print and we have to access two index so we will have to use two for loop first for loop for row and second for loop for column for j is equal to 0 j is smaller than 3 and j plus plus here print the value percent d comma e and value of row and value of j j is the value of column and close the both of the for loop get ch and compound now compile the code that will generate an error yes where this is here because i forgot to put a semicolon now compile it's fine run yeah it's printing 1 to 9 now suppose i want to check which number is at index first of all i'm copying this and paste here i will check at which means at position 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 which number is stored then we have will check 6 at last it will it printed 6 so at position number 1 2 value 6 is stored and how it will be because suppose one is what one is row number and two is column number so at index 1 comma 2 number 6 has been located if i will change this to 3 comma 2 then we will have different number different number is 0 means at 3 comma 2 we have no number why because this is index starting from 0 and at 3 there is no element so it is the default value of 2d array for empty space is 0 if i will write here 2 then it will perhaps give result 9 here at last it printed value 9 so by this we can access any element of 2d array and also we can give input at run time suppose we want to print a matrix a matrix then we will give number of rows number of columns and all the elements at run time that we will study in the next lecture so guys thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and share thank you